Hey guys, Mike here at MH Tutorials. Welcome back. Well guys, today we're going to model something, well, somewhat boring maybe, but hopefully the modeling process in itself is, uh, is interesting. Uh, I've been asked to model a pen. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So we're going to start with a, uh, a polygon cylinder, a uh, pipe, sorry. Pull that up. We're going to hit E and we're going to rotate that and check that it's at 90 degrees and it is. All right. Let's scale it down a little bit. And let's just check our thickness. We don't want it to be too thick. So let's do 0 0.15. That looks a little bit better. Okay. We're going to right click and go to vertex, drag select these. Hit W and pull that out. Okay. So that's the first section of our pen. Then we're going to right click object mode. We're going to hit control D to duplicate. And we're going to pull that over. And we want to have a little bit of a uh, little opening here. So I'm just going to check that four for wireframe mode so we can see it a bit better and we just want to have a little bit of thickness in that area okay so we're going to go to uh, uh, mesh tools insert edge loop tool and we'll add one there q on our keyboard five for shaded mode right click face select that row edit mesh extrude and we'll do a thickness of 0 0.1. Maybe that's a bit too much. So let's do 0 0.05. That's a bit better. We want to keep it somewhat subtle if possible. Okay. And then we're going to right click at a vertex, drag select these, hit W, bring that in. Let's do about that. And then we're going to hit R and we're going to start to scale that in. Okay. Not bad. Then we're going to right click our object mode. Hit Control D to duplicate again. And move that out. Let's switch to this view right here. F to zoom in and four for wireframe mode, modify center pivot, hit R to scale in, and W to move in like so. And then we're gonna right click, go to vertex again, drag select these vertices, and we're gonna scale that in quite a bit all right so we got that section there then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of detailing so what we'll do is we will uh, let's see we're going to go to mesh tools injured edge loop tool and i'm just going to add few edges here and let's uh, tweak that spacing a little bit so I'll right click edge that one looks a little bit off try to keep the spacing somewhat Aligned. There we go. And then we're going to drag select these edges. We'll do it this way. So these are all selected. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh and under Edge to Bevel, which will give us that. Okay. Not 100% happy with this one yet. See how that looks. That's not bad. Okay. Then right click face 
and we're gonna select every other row all right and we're gonna go to edit mesh extrude and we'll do 0 0.1 and that will smooth out later and i'll just quickly show you that right click object mode when we hit three we'll get this effect here okay and i can already see that i need to add an edge here so hit one to go back mesh tools insert edge loop tool push an edge in there and we'll check this guy what we'll do is we'll uh Come on, right click object mode. What's the deal with that? There we go. Mesh combine. Hit three on our keyboard. Okay, you can see we need to fix that there. Okay, so hit one to go back. We're gonna go to mesh separate. Move that guy out. Insert edge loop tool. We'll put one in here to hold that. And we'll do the same here. One there and one there. And we'll do one at the end. Q on our keyboard. Right click object mode. Let's bring that guy back in. I have to zoom in. And that should be better. Let's check. Hit three, hit three, hit three. All right, that guy can now come in just a bit. There we go. Hit one to go back. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop Tool. We'll put one in here and hit Q. So that's all good so far. And then we're going to take a polygon cylinder. We're going to pull that up. Let's tweak that. Go in our attribute editor, increase subdivision to 30. And caps will do uh, zero. Select this guy, right click object mode, hit E, rotate to 90. And then we'll set our translate values to zero. And we'll do the same with this guy. Actually, that's, uh, I already reset that, so that's not gonna work. So I only have to bring it down, I think. But we'll be okay. We're gonna move this guy over here. And let's just uh, check it from this view for, for wireframe mode. And there's nothing to snap to. So what we'll do is hit plus on our numeric keypad. So we can align this in two ways. There we go. That should be good. Hit R to scale in a little bit. I have to zoom in. And let's hit W and hit minus to shorten my uh, arrows. I have to zoom in. Okay. Four for wireframe mode so we can see how far we are here and how long our pen is. And I would say that our pen needs to be a bit longer. So we're just gonna move this guy over here. Right click vertex, take these and move that in there. All right, five for shaded mode. We're gonna right click on a face, take that guy, edit mesh, extrude, hit R. Scale that in, G to repeat, W to pull out. Like that. Okay. 
we're going to manually add some edge loops. So insert edge loop tool. We'll do one there. Not there. We'll do one there. One up here. This one we're going to keep a little bit from the top. And we'll do one down there. All right. Okay, and then from our top view, F to zoom in, we are going to let's see if we got the sky level here. Object mode, come on. What is that all about? There we go. Okay, we're going to bring that up. There we go. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to um, right click, go to face, and we're going to select one, two, three, four. And we're going to leave these two thin edges as they are. All right. I have to zoom in. Go to edit mesh, extrude under face, hit W, and we're going to bring that up to about there yep and then we're going to take these faces edit mesh extrude hit w and pull that out let's see how far maybe a bit more to about there and then we're going to go to our top view Hit F to zoom in, and we're going to kind of round this off. So we're going to right click, go to vertex, take these, and then take that one, like so. Go to insert edge loop, push an edge loop in there to hold that shape. And uh, let's see, do we need to do one here? Maybe not, we'll see. Right click object mode, hit three on our keyboard. That's actually not bad. Just checking that. This actually needs an edge loop, so I'll hit one on our keyboard. What we'll do there is right click face, select that face, edit mesh extrude and hit Q on our keyboard right click object mode and hit 3 which is much cleaner okay looks like we need to do the same at the top here right click face edit mesh extrude and hit Q right click object mode and hit 3 yes much much cleaner Okay, so now that we've got that, we need to create a point for our pen. So for that, we will take a, um, let me think, we'll take a polygon cylinder. Get that some height, E to rotate, W, we're going to move that in. And from our top view, hit F to zoom in. And we can try to snap it, but our pen is not exactly aligned. Hit 4 for wireframe mode. So there we go. We're going to bring that in. Hit R. We're going to scale that down to about there. Hit W. Bring that out. Right click vertex, drag select, hit R and scale that in. That looks about right. And then we're going to go to mesh tools, insert edge loop tool, add one over there and add one over there. Let's see what we got. Right click object mode, start to bring that in. Uh, let's see, the 
that should be right there. I have to zoom in. Uh, okay. Now, as you can see, it needs some scaling. So let's do that. W, bring that out a little bit. And check it from this view. Okay, we're going to hit three on our keyboard. Okay. So now that we got that, let's add some materials to it. So we'll take this section, right click assign new material. Let's uh, do a blend. And let's change that to white. And transparency just a little bit, not too much. Okay. Then we're going to take this section and that section. Right click assign new material, blend. Let's go with a uh, blue color. Let's tweak that a little. It's not bad. And we will bump up the transparency a bit more on that one. And we're going to take the top section, right click assign existing material. We'll take our second blend. Uh, actually, we'll not because we need to tweak the transparency on that. So we'll do new material, blend. In our color picker, we'll take that same color, but now it's a different material. And we can leave the transparency a bit lower. Okay, for our pen tip, we'll select that. Right click, assign new material. Uh, let's do MIA underscore X. And we'll go to the presets and we'll do setting metal and we'll do a 25% blend. And then we're gonna bring the color down quite a bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, <coughs> you can see that the transparency is probably a little bit too high. Uh, and that's okay because what we can do to make that more realistic is we're going to add um, the inside of the pen, if you will. So we'll just uh, pull out a cylinder. We're going to set that to 90 degrees. Let's go to our top view. And let's start to bring that in. F to zoom in. have to zoom in once again, hit R, scale that down in size, bring that over to our pen tip, and I'm just going to hold down D so I can move my pivot point over here so I can see what I'm doing, I have to zoom in, okay, let's get that lined up. It's not bad. Then we're going to right click, go to vertex, drag select that. And we're going to bring that way up to about there. Let's check from this angle. Right click object mode. Bring that in. Have to zoom in. And now we can just snap that. Just hold V and snap it. Okay, we're going to hit 4 for wireframe mode. We're going to right click assign new material. Let's do a blend. And these things are usually, I think they're gray. So we're just going to go with the basic gray. Hit 5. So you can see that. 
and now we need to have a um, a spring uh, so we're going to create a helix so create um, polygon primitive let's do a helix let's uh, just bring that up let's start tweaking that before we move it into place control a come on control a there we go polyhelix let's do um, 30 coils that's not bad let's um, let's see height we'll bring that down the width will bring that up a little and let's see the radius now it's time to get it into place roughly so we're going to hit E we're going to rotate that to 90 degrees let's hit W and start to move that in have to zoom in okay so that would probably be around there and then from this view again hold V and snap it so that will probably give us a slightly more realistic effect this may be a bit thin and maybe we need to tweak the transparency a little bit but we'll see okay let's apply some material to that assign new material and my material X material tab presets let's do chrome why not we're going to drag select our whole pen, control G, we're going to group that and we'll call it pen. Okay, let's quickly set up a scene for that, drag out a ground plane, assign the material, uh, let's do a uh, fong, fong E in this case, pull that up to white. We're going to set up a light source, create lights, come on, point light, hit 7 on your keyboard so we can kind of see what's going on here. And we'll do create lights, ambient light, that one's way too bright, but we'll fix that, we'll push that back. And we'll set that one to an intensity of 0 0.1, which uh, looks okay. We're going to need to bring our pen up. So window outliner, that's our entire pen group. Check it from this view. There we go. All right, let's set up our, uh, where do you go? Our uh, resolution gate. That's not bad. Okay, let's go to our render settings. Let's give that a sec. We're gonna go to mental ray because we use some mental ray material. Indirect lighting. Uh, global illumination, final gathering, caustics. Mm, I'm going to give that a try. Quality tab. Let's do about 1.5. Uh, let's see. I want ray tracing on. I'm going to increase these values to 8, 8 and 12. And 6 three and three uh, because of the transparency of the material uh, we should have some light breaking through through that so uh, okay I'm gonna set up image base lighting and I'm gonna set my image size to HD 1080 there we go now I just need to select an HDRI file 
and I get this question a lot, you know, where do you get these HDR files and uh, I can't find that folder and so on. Just uh, go to Google and search for free HDRI images and you can just uh, download them and uh, put them in an HDRI folder under your Maya directory and then you have them available, okay? So I'm just gonna select that folder and uh, let's see, where do you go? Maya, HDRI, and let's see, I'll do studio. Let's give that a try. Actually, I'm not going to do studio. I'm going to do this one right here. Okay. Now, like I said, uh, our transparency settings may be a bit too high, so we're just going to do a quick render and see if it works out the way that I was looking for, okay? Just going to quickly pause the video, and I'll be back when the render is done. See you in a sec. Well, guys, I just uh, stopped the render uh, for the reason that there's way too much light in our scene. So I'm just going to take this ambient light. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to select my ground plane and assign new material, Fong E, and let's make that black. Okay, let's give that another go. Okay, see you in a sec. Well guys, here we go. This is our final render for our pen. And as you can see, there's just a faint hint of the spring that we created, which gives it a little bit more realism. And um, you can obviously play with the transparency settings. Um, for example, if you want this white section to be completely transparent, you can just uh, bump up the uh, transparency quite a bit. And uh, to make it still visible, you need to uh, increase reflection as well. And then you get some sort of transparent plastic, if you will. Okay. Well, uh, a fun little tutorial. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you've got any questions, as always, please let me know and I'll help you where I can. That said, thank you guys for watching and love to see you guys again. Bye.